Working successfully with children requires an open mind, patience, creativity, and the ability to look at the world through the eyes of a child. Because pediatric imaging involves children of a wide range of ages and maturities, we will be using an infant chest x-ray as just one example of pediatric imaging. Before bringing the parent and child back to the x-ray department, the technologist should prepare the room. If the child is under two years old, as will be seen in our demonstration, place an octostop on the x-ray table and cover it with a clean blanket or towel. Retrieve all immobilization and shielding devices necessary for the exam. Use the smallest IR size possible to improve spatial resolution of the image. Make sure the control panel is set up appropriately for the exam, and it's best to use the shortest exposure time possible for pediatric imaging to minimize patient motion. Also, it is advised to use a higher KVP and lower mass to reduce absorbed dose to the child. The technologist should call for the child in the waiting room and should always greet the patient and family members with a smile. If the child is walking or in a stroller, get down on the child's level to make him or her feel comfortable. Hannah Jones? Yes, this is her. Hey. Hi. I'm Jeff. I'll be taking her x-ray today. You know okay. And can you verify her full name and date of birth? Uh, her name's Hannah Marie Jones, and she's born January 11, 2015. Okay. Should be good. Okay. So basically, I'm going to have her lying in this thing we call the octostop. Okay. And so if you will go ahead and just lay her down in there with her head on this end. All right. And then we'll wrap her in the blanket. Okay. Have the child and parent follow the technologist into the examination room. It is important to keep the lights up in the room as some children are scared of the dark. Verify the child's full name, date of birth, and procedure to be completed with the parent and double check using the child's armband. Evaluate the child's capability of understanding. If you feel that the child is capable, direct the explanation of the exam to the child using age-appropriate language. It may be helpful for the technologist to think about children of that age whom the technologist knows and imagine how he or she would explain an exam to those children. If the patient is too young to understand, explain the exam and exactly what is going to happen to the parent in a soothing and confident tone. It is important to explain the exam calmly to the parent to reduce feelings of anxiety that can often be transferred from the parent to the child. Always answer any questions honestly that the parent or child may have in order to gain complete trust of the parent and child. Be sure to use terms like take a picture instead of shoot an x-ray so the child doesn't get scared. If the parent is a female and chooses to remain in the room during the exposure, ask if she is pregnant. It is advised to only have one parent in the x-ray room to prevent distraction and confusion for the child. The technologist should allow the parent to place the child in the octostop. When working with infants in particular, wrap them in blankets and, if possible, keep the room warm as young patients have trouble regulating their body temperatures. Use Velcro straps to immobilize the child from the waist down. Lift the arms up above the head and strap them into the octostop so they are immobilized. Be sure to explain to the parent what you are doing and why so that he or she does not become alarmed. Next, place the gonadal shield over the gonads of the child for radiation protection. Position the IR and tube for a chest x-ray. Give the parent a lead apron for radiation protection, and the parent can stand with the child for emotional support, but the technologist should make sure that the parent stays clear of the x-ray beam. Okay, I'm just going to verify her name band here. It matches what I've got in my rack. 
And I just want to verify we are doing a chest x-ray today, is that correct? Yeah, it's for her lungs. Okay. So what we're going to do is now that she's in this octostop is we're going to use these Velcro straps to kind of immobilize her. Oh, okay. And then what I'm going to have you do is come around to her head. So come on around the table this way. And before we start, I'm going to give you this lead shield to put on. Is there any chance you could be pregnant? No. Okay. So keep that on. That'll keep you protected from radiation. Now what I'm going to have you do is stay here with her, hold her arms up above her head. Okay. And then I'm going to put these straps on. And so when we take the picture, you can be there with her. Put these on. Once the technologist finishes positioning the child for the exam, he or she should walk behind the wall to the control panel. A helpful tip for a chest x-ray would be to watch the breathing of the child and take the exposure on inspiration. Okay, so you're going to stay right there. Mm -hmm. Line this up. We're going to slide her down just a little bit. Okay. Make sure my IR is set. I'm going to put this shield on her. Okay. Now I'm going to step out of the room and take the exposure. Okay. Once the exposure has been taken, the technologist should make sure the image is appropriate before moving the patient. If a lateral image is requested, rotate the octostop 90 degrees with the child immobilized to obtain a true lateral. Once you have all of the requested images, remove the apron from the parent and allow them to unstrap the child from the octostop. While the parent is doing this, continually praise the child's cooperation. Offer a sticker to the child as a reward for completing the exam. The technologist should walk the patient back to the waiting room and thank the parent and child once again for their cooperation. Okay, I'm just going to go check this and make sure we got the image we need. Okay. Okay, we've got what we need. So we're done. I can take that vest from you. Okay. I can't get it off. I'm going to help you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Start taking these straps off. There you go. Okay, we are all done. Okay. You can uh, you can take her up. Okay. Come here, Hannah. All right, good job. Now, I know she's a little young, but I'm going to give you a little sticker here. You can give that to her later. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I know she's a little young, but uh, here's a sticker you can give her. Oh, thanks. Here you go, Hannah. No? Okay. <laughs> Okay, can you verify her name and date of birth for me? Uh, Hannah Marie Jones. Okay. She's 88 days, uh, 14 hours, 32 minutes, and 52 seconds, 53 seconds, I just need four seconds the, uh, old. Date of birth, please. Um, uh, January, I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to check this image real quick. Okay. Uh, okay. That was fine. Okay. <laughs>